Me and Gina, I'm here to educate and demonstrate how easy it is to eat clean and how you don't have to break the bank to do so. All right, tonight is a simple night. I'm trying to make sure my lights are right first. Okay, I got a couple people on Periscope. Hey, Nikki Chick, I am off schedule. Yes, that's me. Don't worry about it. We here now. We here now. So we are going to use the pressure cooker and we are going to uh, attempt to make, I'm better. I'm on the air. I'm better now. We are attempting to make some uh, tomato sauce. Miss TV Attic, what's up? We are attempting to make tomato sauce with the pressure cooker that was given to me for Christmas by my sister. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at some videos on YouTube and I noticed that you, hey, hey Rosa. Good day, ma'am. Good day. What's up, girl? What's up? Let me put this to the side real quick. I was looking at some videos on YouTube and uh, um, I didn't know you could saute with this pan. So we're going to plug it up. We're going to say, hey, Jen, we're going to saute some onions. I'm going to show you all what I have in just one second here. Thank you for inviting your followers. I have some oil uh, here for the here for what? For the lose. I have. OK, we got some onions. We have a, a piece of the, uh, I chopped up some of the poblano pepper. We got some diced garlic, a couple of cloves. We got the oil right here. And we have oregano, sweet basil, and some Cajun seasoning in there. People on YouTube can see it. There you go. So organized. <laughs> You don't even know. So thank you for the super heart. I am going to put this on saute. That's what it says. We're going to put this on saute. And this is a non-stick surface. So we got a non-stick type thing. Hey, hey, what's up? So uh, we're going to kick the button here. Um, it says saute and I'm going to start. Give me 30 minutes. What you beeping for? All right, and stop beeping. Hey, Natasha. All right, so y'all know I've never used a pressure cooker in my life, <laughs> except for the other night. Ah, oh, just beautiful as always. I have to say, yes, that's we're we gonna wait for it to heat up. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, we're gonna throw in all this stuff. It's my yes, it's my latest gadget. I am going to try to cook with the uh, pressure cooker. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. And then I start reading the front. It says saute slow cooker. Mm -hmm. It's count down from 30. It is. That's true. It is. I'm going to put it on 20 minutes for the uh, sauce or 15, 20 minutes and see what happens. Let's go 15. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, let's go ahead and put some oil in there. No, it's not hot yet. It's not hot yet. You haven't either? Here we are. Who's that? Metaphora? What's up? We're going to see how this works for all of us, okay? Different from a Dutch oven. Yes, it has uh, a nice uh, Italian wedding suit. I haven't seen that or had that in a long time. This um, has a nice little tight cover on it. Yeah. Thank you for inviting your followers. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, heavy duty. I like it. All right, so we waiting for the oil to get that change. I know it's ready to be, you know, put some the onions in there, uh, peppers, and the garlic. We're gonna do that just for a few minutes, and then we're gonna throw the tomatoes in. I'm gonna tell y'all. Uh, yes, I know John John is here. I know who Hey Eight is. I know John John is here. Did you dye your hair yet? Did you do it? Oh, on the lid. I got you. Okay, y'all. Now, these tomatoes, I had about, I don't know if y'all remember me saying the uh, reduced produce section had a bunch, a bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. And I went back the next day, they had more stuff. Okay, so I sliced, I got a bunch of these tomatoes, like 15, 16 of them. And I sliced them, I boiled them, uh, or oh, I put them in some boiling water, and then I put them in an ice bath so the skin would peel off. So what I've done, I'm going to show y'all here. Now, I've seen people do this. Uh, 
Oh, January 2nd. Okay. I've seen people dice their tomatoes with the skin on. I don't get that point of that. Maybe I'm too culinary for it. I don't know. But in culinary school and other places I have worked in other kitchens, we didn't always leave the, the skin on. I don't understand why you would do that. I really don't. Because skin gets those little pieces. You y'all know how. Minister Smooth Black, how you doing? So um I I I, I peeled off the skin. Oh, I got the no, we're gonna watch it live. We're gonna use no towel. We we cool like that. We're gonna let it blow up like a geyser. Hey Genesis. So I'm waiting for this to heat up. It doesn't look like, hold on. Nah, not quite. And um we go, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do it for 15 minutes on the on the, the uh, pressure cooker. My thing is this: what's the difference of a pressure cooker versus me boiling it on the stove? Because when we're finished with this, I'm gonna put it in a blender. What's the difference? That's all I wanna know. We're gonna see tonight, okay? We're gonna learn. Again, we got a little poblano pepper. This gives a little bit of heat, flavor. Oh, I can smell this baby heating up. Mm. That's fresh oil. Why does it smell like that? Okay. Anyhow, it intensifies faster and cooker. Yeah. Intensifies, I might want to say, yeah, on that, but I don't know. We're going to see. Um, let's throw some onions in to see if it sizzles or not. Oh, yep, it's ready. Just didn't seem like it was. No new car smell. <laughs> God's best creation. That's Jesus. What you're saying? The taste is better. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. So we letting the onions do a little bit here. Then we're going to add the garlic in it. Let's add the poblanos. Uh, poblano pepper. Hope this does not make me cry because of the heat. Please, Lord. We're just doing this because we can, because we didn't have anything else in the refrigerator. How do I know? Because the Bible tells me so. <laughs> That's how I know. You saved my soul. Joseph, what's up? That's how I know. <laughs> All right, now, I'm just going to wait for these to get a little soft. We almost done with this part. I was going to make some meatballs, but I didn't have a chance to go get them. Okay. All right, so... um. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Joseph. I'm like, what you laughing out? Don't be laughing out that loud, man. You laughing hard. I wanted some meatballs. I did because what we gonna do when it's cooking and then you know y'all need something to do. Uh yeah, it's cold right now, Jen. You see, I got the. You see, I got this the hoodie on. You. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, we don't say what's up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me put some garlic in here now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, um, they got a, a possible uh, frost tonight, and they're telling you bring your dogs in, you know, all your, your pets, your plants, and people. What's that? The three P's. Make sure you get the three P's: your pets, your plants, and people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to also throw in uh, oregano. The uh, no, 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 oregano. Oh, let me just put the canned things on here. Hold on. Hold on. And pipes, they okay, okay, right, right. Oregano, some sweet basil, which is rubbed off. I love me some sweet basil, and I'm kind of addicted to that. And some Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna throw that in here now. Might as well get toasty in there. Yeah, <clears throat> that's different. <laughs> You're so funny. Hold on, let me add just a little more oil. Lauren, what's up? There we go. Well, I am using avocado oil, you guys. I am using avocado oil. I wanted, I didn't get a chance to get mushrooms either. It's mushrooms and ground beef, and I didn't get a chance to go do that. And yes, I am, y'all. I have been away since twelve thirty in the morning. I'm off from work. I'm going. I ain't. I'm on vacation. Why am I awake? At, I can tell you why. Because. It's so cool when you set your own schedule. It's so cool. You get up and do anything because you can go to sleep when you want to. <laughs> That's how I feel. All right, now, let's go ahead and put the tomatoes in. 
And we're gonna turn it, it says, we're gonna turn it off saute in a minute. Let's grab this correctly before it hurts me. You don't want that. I also saw people make tomatoes, tomato sauce with just cutting off the tip. They just threw the whole tomato in um, and put it in the pressure cooker. And then they, you know, those bird mixers or um, the wand mixers, you just zzz. Then you have little pieces of skin. I just, oh God. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Probably don't. Okay. So now we got this in here. We got our seasonings. We don't have any salt. We have the Cajun seasoning, that Cajun salt, but we don't have pepper. Let's put that in there real quick. Go ahead and work. Hold on. Yeah, I don't get the part. Why would you want those little pieces? Yes, I did. Uh, hey, Bruce. Yes, I did. I blanched them in some, I put them in some hot water, pulled them out. Like I showed you guys, I scored them. I put them in some hot water, pulled them out, put them in some ice water. I'm cooking for uh, me. It's starting to boil. Okay, why is my machine working? Hold on, y'all. The light comes on. All right, let's move over here and get something else. You know, you keep a salt and pepper shaker at your desk. Um, yeah, I agree. I don't want the things that give you heartburn. All right, so you know how you keep your own salt and pepper at your desk? Well, I clean my desk out because, you know, I ain't going to be there for a little while. All right, so now I'm going to get some uh, sea salt. I'm only, y'all know I don't like salting things before it's done done. So we're not putting a lot of salt in there. Let me just stir it up just a little bit. It's already boiling on the bottom like it's on top of a stove. Got the pepper in there. Yeah, we're going to put this. Uh, Yeah, we put garlic in there. We're going to um, put in the blender when it's done. So for right now, I'm about to put the lid on. Sweet basil. And we're going to turn this off. We're going to put it on. Oh, it says 20 minutes. Let me bring it down. Well, how do I, hold on a second. Y'all know I don't know what I'm doing. All right. So, yeah, yeah, what do you do? I don't know. Somebody tell me. I'm just going to leave it on saute. No, nah, I don't want to leave it on saute. Mm -mm. Let's cancel. Start all over. Manual. Okay. 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 Thank you. Where's it say manual at? There it is. All right. Let's bring it down. Thank you. Oh, hold on. We're going to go for 15 minutes and okay. The ceiling. This is on seal. So it's not on release. The real Lisa Marie. Oh my God. Yes, it is set right. Where you been, child? Where you been? All right, so we're getting this other stuff out the way. And uh, we're going to move this over to the yonder because y'all know that I'll be moving stuff too much. Let's get this out the way. And again, I planned on making meatballs, so my show is a little bit empty on the content right now today because I didn't get a chance to go over to Costco and get the meatballs. Thank you for inviting your followers. So with that being said, it really is more than 15 minutes when you look at it because it's got to pressurize, huh? So I got 10 after on the clock. Let's see what it is. It scares you? I can understand if you don't know precious. What's this little hook on the bottom for? All right, y'all. For those who don't know, this is my second time using the pressure cooker. I used it on Friday, and that was just to steam water to see how long it took. And this is my first time actually cooking in the pressure cooker. All right, Jen. Okay. You say they're great. I see that it says slow cooker on there. Oh, my God. I'm good. Oh, I, yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. And and how did those on YouTube replay and live? I really 
Yeah, it's getting warm. JD dogs in the cribazoid. Oh, that means I have to make meat. But I didn't get a chance to buy the ground beef so I can make meatballs, JD dog. Please don't bark at me. Okay, so that one, this is lost. Okay, yay. Yay, I'm just looking. Y'all, I'm not used to standing here. I'm used to doing something in a bowl or pot or something. We're waiting for this little vowel to come up. Those on YouTube, y'all can see it, that little vowel. Oh, don't growl at me. A pressure cooker. It is definitely, it's a pressure cooker. It's not an Instapot. Instapot is a pressure cooker, but they just call themselves Instapot. They did a dang on good marketing job because everybody wants an Instapot. But this pressure cooker has the same settings on the front as the Instapot. Same safety features, all the other stuff. Okay. Oh, oh, who sent me that stuff? Uh, who emailed me? Loving the grandkids. I think who emailed me that uh, all the little pieces you can get for like under $35 to put inside your pressure cooker. Um, like the egg cooking thing, all that. I didn't know. I didn't think about boiling eggs in a pressure cooker. Yes. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff I can do. I, you know what? I've never had one of those and I'll never want to know because they, I, I watched, I seen a video on that too. And them old school pressure cookers, the, really eggs okay them old school pressure cookers they they do you know people make bombs out them babies man that's what it is it's just uh 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 it got the same things on the front i don't know if i can turn it without shaking it y'all know i got to be careful because last time i did this I, you know what they marketing is excellent they made it seem like they were the only people that could pressure cook anything. Almost. Okay, hold on a second. I just want y'all to see the front. Okay, everybody can see it. It's trying to pressurize right now. And we have it um, on manual. And we already started it. Y'all can hear it's boiling in there. So it picks its own temperature, I guess. Oh, I'm being very careful. I messed up on Friday on the vent. So wait, hold on. Does it pick its own temperature? You don't pick the temperature. Otherwise, that would be another type of oven, huh? No. We ain't got that kind of time. Oh, my hat's coming off, y'all. Oh, no. My hat's coming off. Y'all gonna see the supernatural. No, y'all can't see it. It's fuzzy. All right. Okay, I'm by the vow. We must move away from the vow. You don't wanna move it a lot? Press stuff. What's up? I don't wanna move it a lot. <laughs> Last time I did that, I had a problem. Okay, so since we are waiting for this to pressurize, it's been five minutes. And that little valve thing has not come up yet. The little thing, y'all be able to see it on YouTube and on Periscope. Oh, all right. So YouTube can see it. Periscope, y'all be y'all see it too. Um, all right, what y'all doing? Oatmeal, you made oatmeal in a pressure cooker. Hmm. A sous vide? Mm -mm. Think about that. Okay, this is what I figure I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a shelf just like this, metal shelf with wheels and weight it on the bottom and have all my gadgets and just roll them up to the window. Yeah, I can't do oatmeal. Did you, you didn't watch my show on uh, Saturday, did you, Bruce, Bruce? Uh-oh, you stopped making noise. The thing is moving up, it's moving up. Okay, it's not, you know what? Since I sauteed, maybe it was already hot. It's not going to take 15 minutes to seal. But it's almost there. It's moving up. It's moving up. I used, um, hey, Terry. Oh, loving the grandkids. I, I saw your, te your, uh, your uh, what do you call it? Your comment. Um, I used uh, Flax, uh, 
Okay, sorry. Okay, I use my, um, hold on, let me get it off the camera. Oh my God. Oh, it's not even that much. I use um, barley flakes to make, um, and I, I put them in a, because barley flakes look just like oatmeal. I can't have oatmeal, so this, I'm gonna tell y'all something that totally shocked me. Uh, you can't remember your password. Loving the grandkids. I got two things. Let me let me let me have one conversation at a time. I'm coming back to you, but I got this. In case you, I believe you sent this to me. Yes, you did. Anyhow, if you don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but oatmeal makes me depressed. Y'all know that. I told you that a hundred times. I got lipstick on my hand. Hold on. So I just put this in a food processor or I can leave it just like this. This looks like steel cut, but when you put in the fruit pro processor, this stuff gets just like, oh, it smells like oatmeal. I mean, I had a good time. I, I, it was so good. It was so, so good. I made it just like it was oatmeal. Um, and I don't understand, but I'm not going to get mad. I had more energy eating this. I thought I was going to, it was hypoglycemic and I was going to have my blood sugar come up and drop. She is on uh she is on YouTube right now. Nelson wants to know where you at, uh uh loving the grandkids. She wants to know where you at. She's on YouTube right now talking to me. And where do I put my rubber band? There we go. All right, I do apologize if y'all see me. I'm reading text messages that pop up on my phone. Uh uh, uh loving the grandkids said hello to everybody. <laughs> come on over and say hi. Miss TV Addict, she thinks she might come on over. You don't have to work tonight? Come on now. What is going Hold on a second, y'all. My screen is flipping out. I'm checking something. Very important in my life. Oh, moving on. All right, let's go back over this way. All right. Who else said hi? Okay, you did say that. All right. Um, Now... What else did I want to talk to you guys about? Um, hold on, let's see. Oh, it's the timer started. The pressure is up. It's already, that took uh, about nine minutes. I am not going home for Christmas this time. I plan on going home for, I, actually, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm from Nebraska. Them people can only see me in the summertime. Hey, Carol, I ain't trying to go home in the snow. Man, I live in Arizona for a reason. No, 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 no. I love my peoples. I just don't love them like that. Okay. No, no. Now I'll go visit my people in Texas. No, no snow, no snow up in this here place. I mean, you know, if I got my little gear on and all that, and I'm, you know, going down the slope, which I had never done, maybe I'll do it then. But I don't think it's going to be a good idea for me to go to Nebraska and everybody fish telling in the snow and you trying to get to somebody's house. No, we did not. You did not miss the Barbie. Um, I messed that up. Let's go get that. I have to restart. I have to restart it because all the walls fell down. Except for these two. Yes, it was a nice little field trip in Texas. The, the heat that's in Texas, it's got a little humidity that I, I like the heat here better. You going through Tucson? Why are you torturing yourself like that? All right, still, we still working on this floor plan. I'm gonna modify some things. Y'all, since I'm on vacation till after Christmas, y'all might, this gonna pop up on one of the scopes. I'm telling y'all now, I have to finish this. I don't know. I'm. I'm gonna, I told you I'm gonna get some shag carpeting. You moving to Florida? But do dogs like Florida? I gotta find some little little dolls. I gotta find a little fireplace. I have time now. I got a chance to go look at emails. I got from uh, from loving the grandkids. She sent me this like in October, and I just now got a chance to see it today because I had time off. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on a sec. What you say over there? Okay, don't. Oh, Miss TV Addicts on YouTube. 
You tired of the snow too, JD dog? It ain't no fun. Snow ain't no fun, man. Oh, oh, watch out. Don't get too close to the bell. All right, we go. I'm gonna count the minutes on here. It says 12 minutes, and then we gotta wait for it to uh I think it might give us a countdown timer as when steam is coming out, but we're gonna let the steam come out, have a good time. But I am redoing the Barbie house, and when I get it done, I am gonna come on the air and decorate it. And then after that, we decorate it, we wait another show, and then we'll demolish it. Do 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 Brandy, you on YouTube? Hey, babe, I didn't know you was over there. What you doing, there, man? Everybody hanging out on YouTube. Y'all, YouTube is special. I'm on, y'all, I have so much time to get things done. Woo, the real Lisa Marie. I love to see you. I, I miss you. I do. You one of the old, old school peoples. Hold on, y'all. I was going through my email today, today, and I haven't been through my email in, you know, like a 30 days. Anyhow, and, um, um, they uh, y'all y'all are having a bunch of the party on YouTube. <laughs> Everybody okay. Anyhow, if y'all missing people, they on YouTube. I was going through my mail and guess whose email I saw when I was on YouTube. Oh, checking my email. Uh uh, what's his name? Oh crap! How am I gonna forget his name? How am I? Y'all know who I'm talking about? The old lady in the rocking chair. How come I can't remember his name? <laughs> no snow. What you mean, no double? Oh, you can do both. Um, what is his name that's on the uh the crazy the, the dude who got mad at me and stopped watching? Nolans. Nolans. I saw his email. I was about to send him an email. What you doing, man? But I was like, nah, I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge, yes, whistle. That's right, the whistler's mother. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I'm getting decorations for the tree, and I'm gonna get a bunch of decorations uh, for the house too. Yeah, we're gonna get some of that. Dollar Tree gonna be the spot for that tree. Candy canes. Oh, I meant to put a white cloth down. You haven't seen him in a, in a while either. I, I think Knowledge still at the trap house. He did get a little sensitive. <laughs> Well, it's all right. It's all right. He's still family. <laughs> Your Highness, he came. He was on a couple of weeks ago. Your Highness is on a couple of weeks ago. Hold on a second. What did? I can't. I forgot about Nolan's being at the trap house. So, yeah. But have y'all seen him on, on Periscope or anywhere? Went wayward. <laughs> That's what you right. I think it was the trap house that he was lost at. I don't know which one it was because when I demo demo our trap house, I don't know. Maybe he went to another trap house. I don't know. He probably ate them walls on it. Okay. I don't. I haven't seen him for uh, nobody. Usually, y'all tell me y'all seen him. I ain't seen him in a while. But your highness was on here. Um, when was he on here? Two weeks ago. Uh, it was a holiday, wasn't it? No, it wasn't Thanksgiving. It was maybe it's October. I thought it was a holiday, but anyway, yeah, I don't know. But uh, and tell um 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 junk food junkie hi. Ooh, did it, Nelson? Okay, y'all have a question for y'all. Now that we're here and we're waiting for this little bit here, we got eight minutes on this baby, probably ten. I got a question. Um. And then we're going to put in a blender, smooth it out. At the time that I come on right now, I need, because I got most of my people on here. The time I come on now, is this a good time? Is it good to be on here at 7.30 Central or back to 8.30 Central? Because I notice I have way lower viewers right now. Let's see what you say. He hasn't been on here in a while, but he was on the, uh, the Facebook one. This is not a good time for you? Or, okay. No means don't go back to the, the 8.30 Central Standard Time. Jeffu Juggy got mad at me. It's a good time for all we don't say. Nelson said she hated. it. Okay. All right, so Miss TVA, she likes the time too. Uh, loving the grandkids likes the time too. Okay, so we got one nay and three yays. 
I'm just wondering because I used to have like 30, 40. Now I got 19 people on Periscope, but I got more people on YouTube. So I'm a good, I'm gonna go with that. And we got a few seconds. It smells kind of okay in here. Maybe I put too many onions because y'all know I'm not the onion queen, but I'm smelling, oh, the garlic is what I'm smelling. You can deal with it. All right, because we're gonna change back. Okay, I'm gonna say this here. You're like, Earl, oh, Miss TV Attic, you on both sides. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you got the same name. Okay, if I'm still working in March at the job I have, we'll go back. Because, hey, free to laugh now. Brandy, uh, Brandy, are you on both of them too? Can I get some thumbs up on the, on, on, on the YouTube people? Can I beg for some thumbs up? Act like that's money. Thumbs up. Go and do that. Okay. So, but if I'm not working there, we will keep the same time. No, because that would mean I'd be at 530. We're going to figure it out. Okay. Hold on. It says six minutes. Dougie Fresh, six minutes. All right. I can't play music because we on YouTube. I would like to play that song. Free to laugh now. What you gonna bless us with today? This is not an Insta Pop. <laughs> Free to laugh now. What's up? You hear that sound? Yeah, it sound like you was drinking a coke. That's the sound of my homemade chicken vegetable soup. Oh. You gonna come on here and get deep on me? All right, yeah, okay. Oh my right, gosh, chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got your potato. We right. got your onion. We right, got right. your celery. Right, right. We got your carrot. We got your tomatoes. We right. got some cabbage. Okay. We got some uh, mushroom. Right, right. And I think that's all we could fit in there this time. Oh, okay. no, that's very. I would have mushrooms and, and ground beef, but uh. Word on the street is I forgot. I didn't get a chance to go get it. Maybe try 830 because all the people who like that time are here. Nelson, you're making sense. Uh, vegetable soup with chicken. <laughs> yes, Linda, it's not a vegetable soup anymore. <laughs> uh, my YouTube channel name is same thing. Cooking Mean Gene. Everything on social media is Cooking Mean Gene. Oh, I, I threw kidney beans in there, too. Dude, did you get every nutrient you could? Thank you, the real Lisa Marie. Oh, 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 I think there's, there's birthday cake in there, too. Oh, dang. Mm. Nelson, uh, 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 Terry's telling you to go on over to YouTube. Red cooking wine, red cooking wine, too. Oh, there you go. Now you got me. You got the, because if you put some wine in there, oh, my, mm, it, it just oh, changes oh, it. Oh, 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 I thought it was more thing. Brussels sprouts, put Brussels sprouts for you. Okay, man, you went too far on that one. Brussels sprouts, black, well, kidney beans, they go together. Oh, wait, what, wait, one more thing. Love, I got a lot of love. In the I knew the Holy Spirit was coming up. I knew it was. You couldn't hold back, could you? You couldn't keep it to yourself. <laughs> and he hung up. Oh, that's what makes it gourmet. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't realize that. I did make goulash. Yes, and, and I didn't know it was goulash, but everybody told me it was goulash. Hey, Jewel. Brussels sprouts with, with kidney beans and chicken and uh, celery. Um, hmm. You know. Okay, you, you special. You special. All right, y'all, let's see how many minutes we got. We got three minutes. I am interested in seeing how good this or better this is, whatever. I like the way it keeps all the moisture in, so I guess that's going. Um, you're a little late, but I was late, and you. so you, 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 you you're all right. I sauteed some onions, uh, some poblano peppers, garlic, and the garlic is kicking strong. My whole house smells like garlic now. Lima beans too? Come on, free to laugh now. And uh, some oil, some salt, pepper seasonings. And we are waiting for the pressure cooker to bring, take it out when it releases it. And we're gonna put it in this blender. And that's what we're gonna do. I have already, um, for those who just came in, I had about 15 of these, 16 of these. and. Uh, I, I scored them and put them in some boiling water and then put them in some hot water, some cold ice water, excuse me, and peel the skin off. Chicken and leftover soup. 
let's see here. Uh, so that's, and I, when you make tomato sauce, please take the skin off. Just do that. Because even if you blend it with, hey Zoe, even if you blend it with a, you know, submersion mint blender or burr mixer is what we used to call it. If you do that, because that's what I saw on YouTube also, or a, or a blender, even if you do that, it's, you're still going to get little flecks of skin and stuff like that. Just don't do that. It's just, it don't seem, okay, maybe it's not gourmet when you do that, okay? All right, waiting, waiting, waiting. We got two minutes, and I'm going to move this so y'all can see it. We are moving it gently. That's exactly, that's right, Nelson. That's how you're supposed to do it. Every time you make a soup, you're going to have what's in the house. Um, only time you make the soup the same every time is if you work for a company and they, they pay you to make the soup the same every time. That's how, that's how I know. What you say here? See, oh, one more subscriber to have a, oh, wait, I do. I'm at 99. Can somebody else subscribe to my channel so I can get 100 subscribers? Come on, somebody. Zucchini and squash, too. I don't have any of that, but yeah, I will do that. All right, we're waiting for the timer to do what it do. We're waiting for the timer. You was, Thank you. Thank you, Real East Marie. Thank you for, I see the thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. This is not an Instapot, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a pressure cooker. Thank you, Nelson. All right, we're waiting for this one minute to be done. And then we're going to see what happened on this part. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It says O, O-H, literally it says O-H. All right, stop beeping. Yes, it stopped beeping. So wait, what am I supposed to do? Let it do its thing? Hold on. What's O-H mean? Oh, it's on warm. It's on warm right now, you guys. Oh, no. Is that what it says? <laughs> Hold on a second. <sighs> you, see, Miss TV Addict, you can't be driving in snow. All right, y'all, I'm going to put cancel on here. I don't want it to warm. Okay, so now it's off. <laughs> the little button is still raised. You account up <laughs> for natural. You want to, that's what it's supposed to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the vowel because I, I had the patience. Y'all ready? Hold up. There we go. Okay, it's only my second time ever seeing this, so very interesting. It don't hurt too much. Don't do this at home. Oh, you can smell it. Oh my God, you can smell it. I'm exercising while I wait. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. No, it smells like tomato sauce. <laughs> oh, it dropped. We waiting still, though. You got that many accounts on YouTube. Hold on a second. I don't know. Do I have 100 followers? The view is a little funny. Yes, it is. Okay, a little better, a little better. All right, so now the valve's down. You blinked? <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> there we go. Dun, 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 dun. 
I put too much garlic. I had two cloves of garlic. That was too much. Man, I messed that up. Hold on a second, y'all. All right, hold on. Blender time. Free to laugh now is back. What's up? What's up? I'm going to plug this baby because I'm done with the heating portion. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to see if this turned out good. Yes, sir. I, I thought I was following you. I thought I was subscribing to you on YouTube. You did, didn't you? I just did. It said 100. All right, y'all. 100. And I'm on vacation. Why? I, I can't hang with you, man, because you make me have no sense. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> make me have no sense at all. I'm acting like they can't nobody see me. I'm dancing because I, you know I can't. It is, that was a lot of garlic, though. Come on, Brandy. Okay, it's watery. Very watery. Okay, let's just get a view for everybody. Everybody need a view. Hold on, I'm going to read y'all comments in a second. I know the people on YouTube can see it. Very watery. Okay, moving on. Okay, let me go back and look at the comments. <laughs> you coming from Toronto? Island Breeze. You might be mad about this. You don't want to be here. All right. Okay, so we're going to put this in the blender. It is clean, even though it doesn't look so clean on you, too. I have poblano pepper in here. There is, a, there is a pepper in here, so there's a little heat. Okay, hold on. Okay, I see stuff going over there. People celebrating on YouTube. Okay, you're right. You're right. I should eat, dance, and be merry. I don't want to fill this too much up because, you know... Um, Steam and blenders ain't your best friend sometimes. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should get some fresh basil. It does look like stew. It does look the, the AN. It does look like stew. You got that right. So um okay. I'm gonna do a little test test. <laughs> I need to wipe this blender off. My god, who lives here? Uh fresh I let me just tell y'all this. When it comes to herbs and spices, you use fresh at the end, but you, you cook with the, the dry because dry releases flavor. I was going to have some ground beef and make some meatballs and some spaghetti for y'all. You learn the hard way with steaming blenders. They don't, don't play games with steam blenders. I'm going to leave a little vent for it because that, you know. All right. No, we're just going to keep it cold. Oh, yeah, watch your ears, okay? Just check your ears, all right? All right, they've got to put this in something. Here we go. I'm using a glass bowl for demonstration purposes only. It's garlicky. I keep, I, one clove of garlic in the Instant Pot is all or a pressure cooker. Man, it's garlicky. All right, so now we got to tighten up the flavor because um, we got to blend some more first. But we got to. You know how you can smell it, need something else. Very orange. I think the onions kind of changed it a little bit, but we're going to go back and finish it up. Hold on, let me put this to the side. I just want y'all to see the thickness on that, though, if you can. Very interesting. That's why people put it in blenders and, and burr mixer because of the liquid, I think. Now we know. It did seem like it wanted to get thicker. YouTube is lagging a little bit. Okay. It's trying to splash me. All right, dear. I'm going to taste this soon after I mix it all together. Again, this was like 15 little tomatoes. Yes, that's what this smells like. I need a grilled cheese sandwich. Come on with that. Yes. Yes. 
All right, so now I want to pick up this inner lining because I want to get the rest of this out of here. Just one moment. All right, so I'm going to pick this baby up with my and pour it. Oh, that's what, that's good. That's funny. I'm like, why she got her hand up? She was high fiving me. All right, pour away from yourself uh, in the direction of something else. There we go. That's what we got. Put that back in the little thing thing. Take it out later and clean it later. Push it away from you. Keep the heat away from you. But don't lose your book about Anise because I got to read this. My, my printer jammed up so I couldn't get the whole thing out. Loving the grandkids. I couldn't get the whole thing out. Miss TV Attica gave me a high five. <laughs> I get it. I get it now. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see if I can get this right. Oop. Oh, there we go. Get the lid on right. All right, now that was all we're going to do. Okay, so let me move the Instapot to another part of the world. There we go. All right, I, I need more counter space. That, that you, did you see the lid lift up when I was doing this here? All right, come on back. Okay, I'm unplugging the blender. I'm going to replug it up when I put soap and water in it later, but that ain't happening right this minute. All right. Okay, so. Yeah, I was looking at that. I didn't know if y'all could see that on camera when the lid lifted up. I didn't know if y'all could see that. So let me just pull this down just a little bit so y'all can see it. And it's just nice. Yeah, YouTube is getting a very good view. That webcam is doing justice on that. You got to have your house clean if you're going to have that webcam. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Now, I know I can tell it does not have all the flavors. Hold on. Oh, it's bland. Yeah, this is bland. Mm, what the? Hold on now. Let me get a little precious spoon here. Let me get some precious. It is. It's on YouTube. Y'all getting uh, like y'all in the house with me kind of view. Oh, I don't appreciate that at all. I don't like that. Y'all can see too much. And YouTube is lagging, I can tell. You can see the stove, you can see all the way back. If I had the curtains open, you could see the backyard on YouTube. Okay, I tried to get all the seeds out, but I didn't. It's not bad. It just um need help. I'm trying to figure out how. What kind of help do you need? All right, that's not too bad either. You know, they ain't gonna leave bit too much of a mess in your blender. I also pick things because it has basil, but it can use some more. Hold on. Got some sweet basil right here. I see people put tomato paste in theirs. I don't understand. I don't do they do that in Italy? Got more basil. Hold on, I gotta lift it up so y'all can see it. Um, I wanted some crushed red peppers in here, but I use a poblano instead. So that's why uh, we don't have the crushed red peppers. Now I'm trying to think, okay, so we have basil. I just added some basil. We could add a little more oil. I don't know. Pretend like that's we're in Italy. They add oil to everything, don't they? Vodka? Oh no, you're a little special right there. You're a little special. Mm -mm. Just a little special with that one. I need. I think I need some more salt, but I need the right kind of salt. Thank you for sharing. The wish you should shy your salt. Oh, for vodka sauce. Oh, I get why you're special. Okay. This is really um liquidy. That's why people add tomato paste to it. I get it now. Well, why do, okay, what's a better way to do this? I didn't add water, so this is the liquid from the tomatoes. Ooh, red wine will be right on point. I don't have any though. Praise the Lord, I need to get some. Um, what else can make this not? Oh, you know what? If I put this on the stove and boil this a little more, 
or put it back in the in the pot and let it saute and boil off some water. That's right. Upstate New York Parmesan. Oh, yes, I got Parmesan too. Praise the Lord. Y'all good. And yeah, I should let it stay in the pot longer. As a matter of fact, let's just put it back in the pot. Why not? We pureed it now. Let's go get the pot. No bouillon, no bouillon. We doing everything, you you know, healthy. We don't know what's in them bouillon thingy things, thingy things. All right, we're gonna put this in the pot. Uh, yeah, I just need to reduce it. When you're on the air, you may know a lot of things until you start talking to people. Then all of a sudden, you forget how to do stuff. All right, so let's put this back in here. You see, I'm pouring away from myself. That's a good amount of sauce. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised with that. Yeah, I'm scraping it all out. Okay, so we're going to put this to the side. Come back to it. Let's put this on saute. Mm. No, let's put it on manual. And... That's right, it's cold. Sure. We're going to give it 15 minutes on this and see if it, it's going to start to boil probably. And if it starts to like pop me in the face, we're going to change our situation because I don't need that thing to be popping me all up in my face when it starts. What you doing, bro? It's trying to seal. Oh, I shouldn't have put manual. It's trying to seal. I'm going to hit cancel. There we go. Go, go, go. I am good. You here now, girl? Everything all right. Everything all right. Hold on a second. Let me pit. Um, I'm going with saute. Yeah. This is the flavor it's missing because it's going to give it a salty, but not. Oh. Okay. All right. I don't know. It's on saute. Where did I get this? Kroger store. Let me go get something to shred it with. <laughs> It's going to be tasty. Just for those who didn't see, it's a little orange flavor there. Mm -hmm. Wear an apron. Wear an apron. Hold on a second. Let me get a, a taste. I don't know why I got to taste it again. I just put that basil. Maybe that's it. I'm going to add some more salt, too. I, or No, we're going to add the rind and see what that does. Basil might have been too much basil. All right, well, let it reduce. Let me get something to. Okay, here we go. I bought these at uh, Audi six or so years ago. So let's see. These little pieces, this piece comes off, so I have a rubber band on it. I'm going to try to. Comes off into this container. You think there were too much basil? I don't know about that. But we put this on the table, on the counter, because it don't make sense for me to try to. See, it's trying to cut up some stuff there. These blades are, my, I mean, sharp, sharp. So, um, like little razors. The handle, the plastic handle may break, but the, um, because I got about six of these and all the other four broke. Cold, you know I'm covered from head to toe. <laughs> you figured it out. You hear the heat is on right now, right? They got a, a freeze warning. But it's a four piece. Cover your plants, your, get your pets, people, and your pipes. We ain't that cold to worry about pipes here in Arizona. Okay? It ain't that kind of cold. But, you know, get out the middle, man. This handle might break if I do it over the sauce and it might all fall in. This handle's plastic, and no, that's why we're breaking it in here and not over the sauce. And plus, I can measure it. Makes sense though. If you, if I had a top notch one, of them Martha Stewart ones, but no, this is the one I got. I'm using it. I can get another one. I'll get another one. It's starting to boil or simmer. Yeah, it's simmering. So this way we can also measure how much is in there. 
Because if you put too much Parmesan, that's too much salt. You got to add water to produce. No, that ain't going to make any sense. All right, this is very difficult for me. I don't like this. <laughs> and But it's working. All right, let's see. I'm checking everybody out. See so who got what. Tonight we don't have Facebook on, y'all, but y'all want me to be on Facebook, please put that in the comments. Because tonight on Monday nights is usually just Periscope and YouTube for anybody who wants to know. And Saturdays we do Facebook. All right, it's starting to pop up a little. Can y'all, I don't know if y'all can see all that. We're going to take this little baby off. That's how much Parmesan we got. Let's stir it up. Yeah. Yes, upstate New York. I'm surprised. It says also, Brandy, babe, I love you. I think I'm going to be using this forever, ever, ever, ever. If this break, I'm getting another one because this is also for slow cooking. I, I gave my slow cooker away or crock pot away. So I could slow cook like a crock pot on here. I can saute stuff on here first. Oh my God, my babe's coming up. Um, I can do rice. I'm all that now. I'm all right. Okay, yes, say it again. I'm sorry. What did you say? You heard? I said at this break, I'm going to buy another one because I can do everything with this baby. And then you what, Brandy? You what? You, you the, I forgot. You the best. You the bomb. I love you. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Definitely. <laughs> you so, somebody's fishing. <laughs> it was Brandy. She gave it to me. Yeah. Nothing but the best for you, darling. You know, if I love it, I know you'll love it. Who the Parmesan is doing his job. It is like a big old stock pot. Yes, I think I can roast the chicken in here. I got some chicken, but I didn't want to do that tonight. You can roast the chicken in there. That's what that metal uh, lift or riser is. I know this thing. You can serve them that. Hey, Bradley. Okay, the, the uh, Parmesan did its job, y'all. That's fabulous. It could be better. Mommy Sweets, what's up? This could be better. I just don't know what yet to do. But we letting it boil or simmer so that it could reduce down and get thick. Somebody's typing. I love the way Periscope got it. it just says A, B, C, A, B, C. I don't know what you're typing, but it says A, B, C above your head. Red pepper flakes, I didn't put that in. No, I didn't finish the gingerbread house. I got to start all over because it all the walls fell down because I was putting steam in the air when I boiled water on the stove. And I think that just made them fall. So right now I have in here, um, I got a little bit of poblano pepper. I cut this tip off. And um, we've got onion, garlic, um, sweet basil, some Parmesan cheese. I just grated in here, some Parmesan cheese that we have. Um, we have salt, pepper, or, oh, mm -hmm. oh, Cajun seasoning, a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Y'all can, it's, it's kind of trying to get high. It's starting to boil, boil. Interesting. And I have some uh, avocado oils, what I did to, so I sauteed the, the vegetables in here first before I put the tomatoes in. Then the seasoning, so. <laughs> Nelson, I'm, Nelson thinks that my gingerbread house is going to turn out to be a summer house. Mm, uh, that ain't even. I got the oregano. I just need some red pepper flakes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to block you on the next time on that one. You, 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 in there. you got to be talking about people that bad. I'm in my own house. You're talking about me in my own kitchen. I'm just saying. Last year, we was finished in October and it's taking me. I got this much pepper flakes. Oh, that's not that much. That's perfect. Mm. Yeah, no, nah, whatever. People don't come in my house and talk about me like that. I don't even know people like that, man. Shoot, I don't even get it. Gazebo. Oh, no, I ain't getting that creative with the gazebo. We just going to have some carpet and a. am going to try to make a big screen TV and a fireplace.
place in the living room in the gingerbread house. Mm -hmm. And I might get a little HHR in the driveway like I used to have. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. <laughs> oh, God. Every time I talk to y'all, I add more stuff than I had before, and I never finish. Yes, onion was sauteed in here first. You, that house, you know, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Nelson, I don't know about no fountain. I don't know about that. You got your cat a trap house from mommy? <laughs> let me tell y'all something. You know what's really disgusting about this? Is that I left this sitting out. So now I can't eat it. But it smells so good. Ooh, uh -oh. That one's been sitting out two months. Full? I don't know about that. Okay, we might, we might. Okay, this right here in saute is high. Now, if I don't come on here on Friday, it's because that stuff been sitting out two months and I ate some. Okay, Jesus. Hold on now. There we go. Yeah, that stuff was rolling up on my hoodie. Oh, man, I got to put this in the washer now. We can't have all that. Let's see. I got to find another way. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I got to find another way. I don't. It's been sitting in the house out open. It hasn't been refrigerated. That's why I don't want to eat it. Um, That's why I'm mad because I love me some gingerbread. I got the ingredients sitting right there on the cabinet right there just waiting for it. But I got other stuff to do before I do it. But don't worry, y'all. I got time off. I got another uh, nine days, 10 days before I got to go back to work. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I just feel it. All right. This handle gets hot. Well, it's not hot now. Okay. So I don't have the steam to stay in. Woo, Jesus. It's Okay. I'm going to turn this down the soup and see if that changes anything. We're going to test the gauges on here. Because, ah, okay. Um. Okay, we got to cancel it and <laughs> start all over. <laughs> what you say over there? Mm, okay, no. All right, so we're going to hit cancel. Yeah, Miss CV Attic, you might be right about that. You, you kind of smart. I like you. I don't, yeah, there's, yeah, you're right. Nelson, you might be right. I just want to eat it all. I'm gonna take the lid off. That's I'm waiting for it to go. Stop doing this. I, that's that's my point. I want to get the because it's splashing everywhere. Oh, hold on. I have a splash guard somewhere, but uh, I just want to bring. I don't want the temperature so high, so I'm gonna put it on soup. We're gonna test out each one of these and see what it does. Cause you're right with the lid on, it's not gonna reduce. I done got the machine dirty now. Come on, man. Just got it. Food on it already. All right. We're trying to let this go down a little bit. The lid is not hot. A carpenter for Barbie. <laughs> All right. It's, okay. It's going down. Now it's coming back up. The, uh, the temperature went down. So that turned it off. Okay, y'all hear the bubbles have stopped. Okay, they're coming back. All right, we're going to see how to kind of what it do. But we need it to reduce down to be a little thicker. I'm telling y'all right now, it is pretty dang on good. Uh, with the Parmesan cheese, it smoothed it out. It, it filled in. You know how if you're a musician, there's high notes, low notes, mi you know, middle notes. That's how food is. It has, there's an acid, there's a sweet. There's no sugar in here either. We don't want that. Um, so this officially is still keto. If you want it to be keto, so you need the the, the, uh, the all the different parts of your tongue to be entertained, and each there's what sides of your tongue have different things on it. You know what I mean? No, you can't tap parts on YouTube. What can you tap on YouTube to, to show your appreciation? You can only give a thumbs up. That's it, I think, on YouTube, and it shows I've been on YouTube a whole hour. Yeah, I think that's what it's gonna be. Also, we're intensifying the, the flavor. So let's just learn this lesson. When you make, when you work with a pressure cooker, 
it's going to keep the steam in. It's going to keep. So if you were to put pasta in here what, if, from the start, the steam is you, you, you're all right because it's not letting any liquid out, period, whatsoever. And it either is going to make it watery or you're going to have something in there that's going to absorb the water like rice or pasta or um, mm, whatever you want to put in there. I don't know. Um, I, I don't like to put thickener starches in there if I don't have to because uh, starches, um, well, starch will always bring up your blood sugar. And y'all know how I feel about that. I want my blood. I don't need that to, uh, any extra, any of that stuff. But this, I might let this sit here for about an hour. 30, 45, something like that. Because I wanted to reduce down and have that extra special taste. It is tripping me out that this is orange, though. Why is this orange? And I put red tomatoes in. But okay. That's what I put in. And I'm getting orange. But okay. Hey, I've learned something. Yay. Mm -hmm. Y'all learned something? We got fresh. Oh, wait. Let me taste it with the uh, crushed red peppers in it. We don't want too much heat because we got that poblano. That's why they put them in. There we go. Let's taste that. Let's see what that do for me. Let's see. Yep. That did it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, man. Parmesan did some, and the, um, the red peppers, not a lot, but it's, it, it's like a painting. And this is sort of like, you got to get every aspect of it, all the shadows. You know what it is? Thank you, Jen. She said canned and jarred sauces have food coloring, probably, more than likely. Or tomato paste. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. That's pretty good. You know what it is also? Uh oh, it's starting to do that thing again, y'all. When you're used to eating products from off a shelf, ah, uh, you are right. I see you, Linda. It's asking if I can show that. Okay, there you go. That is correct. I need to put that in the comments to cash out. Um, what was I saying? Oh, come on now. Okay, hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up, I gotta stop. I have a um, thingy thing. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if this splash guard works. Homemade is gonna taste different than a can. So, and it's gonna look different than a can. Um, let me show, tell y'all something I did this morning at 5 a.m. No. But, you know, I, in the mornings on Mondays, I do uh, five minutes of scripture at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. But I was in the kitchen at 3 a.m. because I've been awake since 1230 and I'm not sleepy at this moment. And I'm going to show y'all what I did. OK, imagine the inside of this roaster being halfway, halfway full of all pomegranate seeds, because I had like 15 pomegranates I got off the discount produce rack. And this thing was halfway full of pomegranate seeds. I just made a bunch of pomegranate juice this morning. Yes, I did. Imagine the pomegranate seeds coming up to this part right here. That's how much I had. Man, splatter everywhere. Y'all see, I've got my splash guard on here. I hope that works. It does. It seems like it's working. And I'm going to tell y'all something. If you put it on soup or saute, it seems like it's the same temperature. It don't matter. Hold up. Now I'm gonna show y'all the pomegranate juice I made this. And I hope I'm saying it correctly. I made beet juice this morning also. And here's the ice water when I made the, uh, dip the I don't know why I saved the ice water. All right, hold on. When you make your own pomegranate juice, it does look like sound like whoever it separates. So the part that's at the top is the part that you guys buy in the store, but this is the rest of it that they separate. So this is pomegranate juice. This this part right here on top tastes just like the palm juice in the store. When you shake this up, it has a little different flavor, but you get more nutrients. So that's what you get. But remember, when you go to the store, 
you're not getting the full pomegranate seed. This because this part is sitting at the bottom. You got to shake it up. But this on the top is exactly that palm juice that you get in the store. Looks just like it too. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, a little bit. YouTube sees it better, but it's the same color. It tastes the same. It is. Why are you tripping? This thing is going everywhere. It's going through the splatter guard a little bit. All right, so yeah, I didn't either. I never knew that either. So I, until I made my own pomegranate juice, I didn't know there was a separation. I did not know that till was that two months ago when I did this on air on Saturday. This is all the juice I got. Wait, no, plus add uh, another this up here because I add the rest of it to my uh, beet juice. So if you fill this all the way up in this right here, that's how much the whole thing of pomegranate, that's how much I got out of it. So um, anyhow, it's good. Very good. Gotta look, God, God is good. When you learn how to make something on your own, you got the tools to do it. It's a fabulous situation. Um, hold on a second. Let me look at this. It is not reducing. It is, it's slowly. Pomegranate juice. Mix that with some. Pomegranate is the cranberry with sweetener already. It's very aggressive. That's why we got a splash card. Thank you, Jesus. I only paid a dollar for this at the uh, at the Goodwill five six years ago. <laughs> yeah, praise the Lord. All right, now it's, it's tripping out over here. You ain't got the beat. It is very aggressive. That splash guard is fabulous. I got to get another one. Y'all tell y'all, y'all can go to the dollar store and get one. It's, it's only a dollar. Don't don't pay the ten dollars. Goodwill is a good spot. If you go to Goodwill on fifty percent off day, or are you a veteran, you go to Goodwill. <laughs> it's like you to walked out and stole something, but you paid something. But it feel like it, it's so cheap. You feel like you stole something. And but you got to get what you want. Dollar Tree is good too. Dollar Tree is good too. I watched this um, document, well, a, a short film, a 15 minutes documentary type thing about how dollar stores are killing uh, in, uh, neighborhoods. And because they, because they, and then there's one county, I forgot what state it was in this one county, they had 68 types of, they, they had 68 dollar store units, either 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, somebody, something else. I did not realize that dollar stores kill neighborhoods. I thought that was Walmart's job. Walmart kill a neighborhood too. This is going to be some good flavor on this. I feel like I'm still missing something, but I think I got to let it finish to finish it, to get it there. Um, how they do it, because when, when you have a lot of dollar stores, they have that cheap food in there. Some of them have food over there and it's not healthy. And it's, and it's you know, they don't usually have a produce section, but they got a lot of freezer stuff like that. Oh, I'm about to start crying. Okay, I'm about to start crying. Dr. Modal, okay, somebody need to tell me if this is true. They, Dr. Modo thinks that Walmart owns Dollar Tree. I, I need, we might have to stop the, the whole, no, no, no. The Dollar Tree is my spot, man. I did. No, Dr. Modo, no. Believe to wait. I have feelings. You wrong. You wrong. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. No. <laughs> oh, how can I find out? Somebody help me find out. I gotta find out, man. He, no. No. Yeah, I gotta do because I think they own Lowe's and I won't shop at Lowe's unless it's emergency. I gotta find out, man. Y'all know I don't do Walmart. Walmart try to loot, make me lose my house. Messing with my credit and all that crap for nothing. I ain't do nothing wrong with it. And they charging me. And then all the other, I used to work for Sam's Club, so I know Walmart. Mm. Oh, why are you going to cap? Why are you spelling it in capital letters? The real East Marie. You know I can't do no Wally World over here. They do on Lowe's. Yeah, I thought they did too. Feelings. I got feelings, people. Yeah, 
I got a whole three hour scope I can tell you about Walmart. Yeah. Oh, that well, that what that was, the autocorrect. Okay, that's what that was. You ain't gonna be on here a long time and you gonna come in and put oh, I got you. Paco face, what's up? Don't worry, I see. I, I feel what you said when you I, 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 I got you. All right, y'all. This is crazy. Let's see if it's any thicker. It's going crazy. Mm. Mm. This is uh the splatter guard. Thank you, Jesus. I'm I'm I got it years ago and it's working for the day. Because I would be like, oh you ain't got the spell, you can just do W mark. They been evil. I used to work for them. I know that this. I was inside. I just I was an employee. I can say what I say. Okay, it's trying to come up through the splatter guard now. Don't do that. Mm, don't do that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, let's put it on warm. You have to cancel it. Okay, we're going to put it on warm. Because this baby rolling. I might as well put it on the stove if that's the case. Did she? She did not drop her phone in the water. Did you drop your phone in the water? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Uh-uh. Okay. All right. So it's going to go down in a second. It's going to calm down. I just wanted to get a little thicker is what I wanted, but I can't open it right now because it might hurt. It, it beeped because I turned it, I canceled it and then turned it to warm. It, and so it's the temperature is going down. So it started beeping at me. It says I got two minutes or two hours. Oh, it's going to keep it warm for two hours. Hmm. I guess we'll see what it, if it changes, it's, Okay, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, I just need to go down a little bit and we'll be all right. Now, um, I got them seeds in here too. I tried to get every seed out I could. I think warm is better. I think it is. Um, so we are learning this machine, but I'm going to tell you, if you don't have a pressure cooker, don't try to get my sister to buy you one because if I need another one, I'm going to have her buy me one, okay? Because this is the one, you know what I'm saying? This is my sister. This is my... This is the bomb. Oh, that's right, Brandy. You the bomb, Brandy. You the bomb. You the bomb. All right. So Brandy done bought me many a gifts. This is the one right here. Yeah. Thank you, babe. Y'all don't understand. I didn't know I could do all this in here. I did not know. Okay. I watched me a couple of YouTube videos. Before I came on the show, and I learned a bunch of stuff. Less normal, more. What does that mean? There's a button that says less normal, more. Uh, more. She's a good sister right now. She wasn't always that way. I love her, though. Mm. Yeah, she wasn't always that way. Because she was, oh, it, it's going down. Okay, now I can go in here and look at it. Look at all the sauce that I got caught up on there. See, now I gotta clean this off. He doesn't. Have a good night. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> it is a little thicker. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's nice and thicker. It's it's a little thicker. Try not to, but not that much thicker. She was special. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off. My baby's special. She's the youngest of five, and she is uh, well taken care of. She was well, yeah, she, she, you could say spoiled, but I don't like the word spoiled. I'm just going to say, well, maybe she was. Riga Bear, Reggie Bear, Riga Bear. I don't know how to say your name. All right. It's not boiling anymore. Warm does not do it. So I'm going to have to take this off and put it on the stove in a pot and put it on low, low and let it do what it do. Um, it looks, it does look like vodka sauce though. 
Maybe that's why some certain things that say all natural do look like vodka sauce. Merry Christmas. Yes, it has a blue cake thing on here too. As a setting for cake. Okay, y'all, let's talk about one thing. Remember um, a couple of weeks ago, I made a cake on top of the stove. When I looked at the YouTube videos of making a cake in, an instant, in one of these babies, it's the same thing as baking a cake on top of the stove with some boiling water. Yeah, this ain't bad. Mm. Good question. You locked out your Periscope account. What's up? Loving the grandkids. I'm sorry. This is good. That just perfect amount of um, Parmesan cheese is working it out. Mm. Okay. I like how you did the, the WM. I didn't know what you was talking about at first, but I got you on that. Yeah. Yeah. It could do some... Um, no, actually, I could... This is like tomato soup. It is. This is waiting for a grilled cheese sandwich, y'all. That's all. This is just a big old. That's what it seems like. I have to find a better recipe than I just made this off the top of my head. I didn't measure. Y'all notice I didn't measure anything. I can give you nothing. You know, like Italians do. Other people do it. But it's good. I did add basil. I had it in the beginning. Sauteed it with the onion and garlic, and I added some at the end. It has got enough basil, that's for sure. That's for sure. It's got enough basil. And it is thickening up on the sides of the pan. The warm is not doing it. Y'all can see it's not even simple. It's not, y'all only hear nothing bubbling or nothing. But it's still got some heat on it, though. Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah. Sit you down and it's grilled cheese for Saturdays. We're cooking up. We attempted to make some tomato sauce in the pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. It is a tomato soup, more or less. Okay, I made tomato soup, people. How come every time I put a title on the scope, it becomes something else than what, when I add by the end of the scope? Anyhow, that's what we got. I don't have too many dishes to clean up. It's not bad. Y'all got anything y'all want to talk about before I go? I'm going to drink me some pomegranate juice. I'm going to shake it up first, though. Hold on. Get a little sippy sip. I broke my little wine glass. Um, The spaghetti was supposed to be on tonight, but I did not get the ground beef, so we didn't have spaghetti and meatballs and sauce. <laughs> that was supposed to be on tonight. Yep, that is sitting right over yonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then you're gonna make come on with it. Who said that, Mr. TV Attic? You know, you're special to me. A hand blender, uh, it is at work. Someone at work gave me the bird mixer thingy, and uh, and uh, yeah, they had their little Christmas party today. I got text messages from my co workers about it. That's how I, yeah, I forgot all about it. And uh, my people special, <sighs> they're very special. I, that's a, one day, man, I'm going to tell y'all some stuff. Hey, Subcut, man, oh, man, oh, man. Where I work, they make TV shows out of where I work. Let me just tell y'all, there's drama every dang on day. Man, sometimes I just don't need it, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. What Santa give me? Santa don't give me nothing. Jesus give me stuff. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is shaving. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about that damn one down. What's up, Subcut? Hold on a second. Bear with me a moment. I think I'm supposed to get a text message. My phone started ringing. Y'all might hear things on the side. Act like you can't hear it, though. It's good. Okay. When you get pomegranate juice, pomegranates, and you make your own juice, get the freshest ones you can get off the, the, because you can taste everything. I can taste how old the pomegranate is. <laughs> No, I don't think so either, but we're going to look for it one day. I'm off from work. I got time to research if I have to. Chug, chug, stop it. <laughs> That's some good stuff, man. Pomegranate replaces cranberries in a way because pomegranates and cranberry, they're like cousins. 
But pomegranate got sugar already made in cranberries. You got to add sugar. And don't worry, I'm, I'm getting my case of cranberries. That's coming soon. I went to uh, Costco and I saw that they had four more cases at the one location. There's 12 bags in the case. Yes, six, six, seven. Okay. Uh, can't find it. We gotta find the um the owner of Dollar Tree. We I'm a, I'm gonna find a way to trace that somehow, some way. I'm gonna find a way to trace that. All right, this Parmesan cheese got to be put up. Okay, hold on, y'all. I think I, I I ain't got nothing else for y'all, man. Brandy, thank you again. I love you, babe. Reciprocity is coming to you. Just not this month. No Christmas present. I love you, but I'm you know, I have no money after Christmas. I'm just gonna tell you that now. I love you. You're my babe. Okay. Okay. Hey Nita. Nita, we about to roll out. What you doing up in the house now? Who said that? Who said that? Who let's see here. Oh, you wrong with that, Brandy. You did not have to say pump that. Cranberries are not a bitter cousin of, of the pomegranate. That's wrong. It ain't bitter. Ah, uh, yeah, y'all dealing with a lot of where. Oh, you, you just funny, Brandy. Ah, uh, laughing to yourself. You excited? Eh. All right, y'all. Got to clean up. I'm obviously gonna need to sit this. I think I'm just eating like this. There are no skins in here. I, I don't know. That would be bitter. Brandon, what's up? I'm about to go now. What? You just going to show up like this, man? <sighs> People just come to your house any old way they want to now, man. Any old time. I will see y'all Wednesday morning, five minutes of scripture. We are working on worship, the definition of worship. Don't worry about it. So worship, you have to worship God in spirit and truth. This morning, I talked about spirits. Go back and watch that. And then on Wednesday, we it is only like 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. And on Wednesday, we are going to talk about the second part, truth. What is truth? You're going to be there. Thank you. We Yes. Last week, we just, we defined minister, what it is to minister to somebody, what it is to minister, what that means. That's true, Brandy. Better show up late than not at all. Next week, we're going to talk about studying, how you study the Bible, what when you say study to show yourself approved, what does that really mean? We're going to talk about that next week uh, with the five minutes of scripture. And after that, there's another one. I forgot what it was a week after that. But we're going to talk about how what studying the Bible really is. And because people say, oh, you know, the Bible says study to show yourself approved and Timothy. But what is study? What is what does that mean? How does that work? How, how do I study? What do you? I read the thing. What more am I supposed to do? Because studying the Bible is not the same thing as studying algebra. Nah, it's not quite the same. Um, it's more complicated and it's less complicated at the same time. That's the best way I can put it. All right, y'all. <laughs> because when you look at the Bible and you look at the words, you're trying to relate it to yourself. Algebra, you don't relate to yourself. <laughs> you just don't. You're like, okay, where am I going to use this? Um... Uh, Okay. All right. I will see y'all later. Uh, hold on. What you say? We can instantly rewind you on YouTube just so you, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. You, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Get real confused. <laughs> Good night, everybody on, on YouTube. I'm going to end y'all screen first. Love you guys. Thank y'all for coming in. Thank y'all for all the thumbs up. Y'all make me look good over there. I look real good on YouTube. Thank you.